Hello my darlings, my cyber angels. This is just a short introduction because it saves me time with uh, every video. You can just skip the introduction but you might miss just some news. So welcome back and thank you for your loyalty, your likes and your shares. I love you, love you, love you all really much and I th I'm really grateful with all the thumbs up, the subscriptions and the likes and sharing that you do. The live sessions are so wonderful. I was talking to a cyber angel tonight and it's just magic to get to know you, sometimes personally and sometimes just for a chat or a making an appointment for an extensive reading. It's so nice to really hear your voices. Uh, yes, I'm redoing the introduction um, and uh, you know, I just love this work. I do it with all my love and a pure heart and I just want to reach as many people as I can and help them. Uh, so please, please share with family and friends and let's get more cyber angels joining our family, our cyber family. And please um, remember this is a general reading so if it doesn't resonate with you then look at your moon sign and your rising sign. There is also new reviews out uh, on the decks, the Pagan deck, the Avalonian deck, um, the uh, Lenormand's Cartomancy deck and TLC for your soul. That's this one. This is the Avalonian tarot deck and this is the Lenormand Cartomancy deck and the Pagan Way deck and they're beautiful and awesome. Some I did go into depth and detail in the Avalonian uh, uh, Oracle deck and the Pagan Way uh, Tarot deck uh, and I enjoyed doing it. It is a bit long but I think that if you uh, would like to have a deck it's always nice to see uh, what it looks like before you buy it and that is why I have extended it um, gone slowly uh, with each card so that you can view them and I've also uh, put out extensive information so that you really know what you are ordering it's always difficult to order from uh, internet or from a catalogue and that's why it is so important to do reviews I would love to share the knowledge and my luck and my happiness with the decks and my interpretations. So have a look at the reviews and also have a look at the energy video of the energy of Virgo as we are going into Virgo at the end of this week. As this is going to be your reading for the 17th to the 23rd of August 2020 and the energy of Virgo Virgo moon is already entering in on the 19th and the Sun on the 23rd that is just a little bit of news that is all very positive news and there's also relaxing news as I've made my first meditation video and it's meditation for the chakra uh, if you don't know how to meditate then sit quietly and contemplate and evaluate. Listen to this music. I've had beautiful reviews and feedbacks from different people not only on YouTube but on Facebook, Messenger, you name it. And so I advise you please go and have a look at the meditation video. And please remember like and share and subscribe and hit the bell on all. There is um, something quirky happening and I and Brenda discovered this because we weren't getting notified when we go live. She doesn't get notified when I go live and I don't get notified when she goes live. So we were mucking around on YouTube and we hit the bell on all again 
just to reset it and yes then you get a pop-up saying you will be notified so make sure that you are resetting or refreshing your little button the bell on all of your favorite channels so there we go some there's something shared is something aired i hope you will enjoy the video take care my darlings and have a beautiful week stay safe and be blessed hi leo this is your reading for the 17th to the 23rd and your first card is the four of cups discontent yes you might be discontent but it can also be boredom and you're only focused on what has happened or perhaps you're dreaming and you want something to happen you might be too much in your head or you might be depressed what is the matter with you what are you doing are you is something gnawing at you or are you being depressed and not seeing what is happening around you with the four of cups there's three still standing but you're not seeing the other one that is on offer now I don't see another one in this um, uh, really I don't see the hand but here in the pagan card you've got it the symbol of the fourth cup in the left hand corner it looks slightly different than the chalices on the table so what are you thinking about what are you worried about what are you unhappy about please come out of your mind and look around you look through the window in the back there's the sea the world is so fast and yet so small that is what I'm hearing for you so there are things happening close around you there is something on offer but you're not willing to see it so come into action and focus what is happening around you the world out there is fast go and mingle go and meet people go and network and then you will might be able to see what is on offer for you and what the possibilities are don't just focus on what is in front of you now I, I think this is going to be a work or a business reading I think you're contemplating on what step to take next as you have the king of spades and that's the king of swords so that is Gemini but don't exclude Libra or Aquarius but the king does in the king of spades does represent Gemini but you might be doing business with a Gemini a Libra or an Aquarian the lilies also means luck in business and asking advice you could be asking uh, uh, an air sign an air the king of air for advice you might ask a man that you respect and that's mature for advice you could ask a professional for advice like the king of air he can re represent a bookkeeper a judge an, uh, uh, an advocate because he's the man of wisdom the man of knowledge the man of communication the man of justice he will get cut straight through to the core and get to the BS and get clarity and the truth out for you it, he can bring clarity to you if you are see if you're not meeting a Gemini for any other reason whether it's in romantically or business like okay now the lilies like I said is an, uh, an advisor seeking an advisor a father figure or a um, man of res that you respect of mature age or a professional right so I think you might be thinking of an idea and you're not seeing the possibilities that are on offer you might want to start up your business but you don't know how it could be legalities so you might be seeking legal advice to get clarity on how to start 
or perhaps the bank for a loan so that you've got the financial possibilities to start up the business or even if you're contemplating in buying a house anything like that or if you want to get married you could be seeking the uh, uh, the judicial person that would marry you that could be the high priestess or that could be the man at the municipalities the at the registrar office on Wednesday we have the high priestess well you can see the dove above her head and I no that's an uh, what is it it looks more like an owl it's not a dove it's an owl she the wow owl stands for wisdom and also uh, he's flying above her so I'm getting the sense higher wisdom perhaps you might be more like the high priestess and th that you are listening to <coughs> your spiritual side of you you might be more sensitive highly sensitive or you might be meeting a Pisces as the high priestess is the god uh, represents the moon goddess and um, the high priestess has the knowledge of both worlds as she carries a crystal ball here but usually she carries she carries the uh, Torah or the book of wisdom and that is the book of all knowledge from both worlds the underworld and our world so that's the spiritual world so that's why this card says you might be highly sensitive or more spiritual or you might be busy uh, with your higher self getting the subconscious to the conscious okay awesome but you are playing your cards close to your chest okay as she keeps a secret but you've got the pillars the light and the shadow you, you can't do without the other but I see that as a number 11 and that is a beginning a new beginning a doorway the angels the spiritual world is giving you a doorway a new beginning so like I said don't focus what is in front of you look at the possibilities around you perhaps you have to turn inward to find out the answers as to where you really want to go listen to your intuition and your new ideas or ideas that come into mind and put them out into the physical world you have the king of diamonds and the king of diamonds he's also known uh, that he has the meters touch anything that he touches uh, will turn to gold uh, so he if you do anything it will turn out positively you've also got number 37 and uh, 34 and that turns into a 7 you can see the fish there the fish means again business like the king of pentacles the king of diamonds the king of diamonds that is Taurus but it could be a Virgo or a Capricorn don't exclude those two but officially the king of pentacles is Taurus as he's the first house of the earth element the fish means also know your boundaries and let others know your boundary or boundaries luck in business luck in work you might have if you have a business you might have more clients right now with relating to um, I was just saying Pisces and you've got the fish so Pisces to me is quite eminent Pisces is fish in the zodiac sign but this is just t theoretically a picture of the Linamon but it is quite funny how um, the fish lie next to the Pisces card that represents Pisces so Pisces could be very important but it could also be the Gemini or the Taurus so just to recap <coughs> recap we've got the Gemini here and uh, my excuses 
Taurus is not in the picture. Uh, if they are, he, this is diamonds. Yes, it could be the Taurus. That's the king, the king of diamonds. Sorry. So it is Pisces, Taurus, Gemini. Those are the cards that represent um, those zodiac signs. Now on Friday, and look also what it. The longer you look at these pictures, the more information you get and you've got all bubbles here and you go back to number four and you feel sort of stuck you feel stuck in your head or you might be up in the air in your head and look at the bubbles of the fish you might feel stuck in your thoughts air is thoughts okay we've got the ace of swords wow on friday you have set your intent as this is the word intent and the meaning for in uh, this card in the pagan deck but the ace of swords means victory and you can see the crown of victory usually it's a wreath the wreath of victory so this is the if you believe or if you love the uh, story of King Arthur um, and then uh, the knight of the uh, Sir Lancelot and this was his sword and this is the magical sword so something magical is going to come uh, to you and happen to you most probably on Friday or Thursday even or Saturday that's the energy around these and look at all these magical swells here as well now you could start a new study um, but uh, at the bottom of the sword it looks like if the there is an, an ending like a key you are holding the key to a new beginning to victory and the lady of the lake that is such a magical story she's appearing so victory is appearing to you or for you on Friday you could start a new study but you could meet any of the air elements that's Gemini Libra and Aquarius so if you're in a judicial situation you will have victory now let's get back this is the king of wands he always goes for what he wants this is Aries the king but it could also be a Leo or a Sagittarius then we've got the moon goddess Pisces and then on the card of the fish we have the king of diamonds so it could be Taurus that's the king or Virgo or Capricorn now let's have a look what this card is going to bring you you've got the ten of diamonds you've got the ten of diamonds so the ten of diamonds is the ten of pentacles and you've got number 26 which is an eight that is the house of money and the house of power you're back in your power you feel strong and you definitely are like the king of wands the king of sorry spades not the king of wands the king of spades Gemini you ha are in your power you've got the victory you've got you know what you want I don't know why I'm saying king of wands uh, might be significant to somebody and um, that because the king of wands he goes for what he wants and so does the king of swords and this could be an inheritance this could be winning the lottery this could be winning a scratch card or su winning a judicial situation a court case damage claims uh, this could be a tax return and it won't be a small amount either it will be quite a substantial amount but if you are doing business dealings like here um, here you go and see an advisor with the lilies and here and you've got luck there and you've got luck there so with that advice and that business luck you might be falling into the meters touch which is the king of pentacles and that's him the meters touch it was already predicted on Wednesday you might even have an inheritance or you might have a big return 
of your investment because that is what the king of pentacles do does invest and he invests wisely and he does uh, contemplate and ask for advice from his advices now at the weekend we have the queen of pentacles so we have also the couple the king and queen of pentacles and this is the queen of pentacles she's got the golden touch her husband's got the uh, sorry she's got the green touch and her husband has got the golden touch they both invest and they nurture what they invest in and they make it grow so that it brings returns harvest time and time again as they are pentacles they stand for durability and long term so you might have made an investment or you might have met uh, your opposite and you're forming a couple at the weekend either in business or in love but the queen of pentacles also stands for fertility <coughs> so the time at the end of the week and the weekend let's say beginning Monday as well because on, on Sunday you can't really do investments on Monday when everything is open again you might make a wise investment that you will nurture and it will grow and bring back its returns if it's not that you are cup coupling up and yield yield is a festival time and that is I think the winter around January February I don't know the pagan calendar out of my head but I'm getting there so you might see the return after the Yule tide or at the Yule tide actually in the winter it's usually dormant so it will take time to grow but you will be nurturing it and taking care of it like the Queen of Pentacles if you are finding out that you are becoming a parent and if you're too mature it, you might be finding out you're becoming a grandparent you might be hearing of a birth of a child or a new project a new investment a new job you will be nurturing it and you will make it grow so that it will blossom and harvest and bring you your re well-deserved returns again and again as this one has just come to fruition it's like a farmer when just before one crop finishes the farmer has already sown the next crop so that he will see his return then we have the eight of Pentacles and the key now the key means that you hold the key you can open the door to possibility possibilities and positivity and close the door to negativity and look at this in the dark it looks like a ghost <laughs> a little bit somebody a ghost well we were just talking about the inheritance where is it here so then somebody might have unexpected left you an inheritance behind just before they left our realm they have realized how hard you work and how determined and how well you can invest because the eight of diamonds means that you've got recognition for your hard work but you might even start a new study but you do have recognition and you've got number 33 that is an angel number and three and three is six so you are definitely in balance now we're going to the um, Avalonian uh, Oracle card and you have the Emissary the Emissary and this looks a little bit like the Six of Swords except you don't see the swords but you're crossing water so you might be leaving rough waters behind and going into smoother waters the emissary the emissary that these are one of this is one of the Morgans the stages of, of life really reveals herself as a middle-aged woman the characteristics blue and black garb of her rank covered by traveling cloak 
as she stands with her uh, uh, staff walking stick in the pro of the barge of Avalon. The outline of the holy island is visible behind her a magical uh, as she journeys across the lake embarking upon a mission with a messenger raven in attendance and this the key words for this card is communication networking connections journeying diplomacy relationships clarity and truth well we do have clarity we do have justice because we've got the victory communication is the swords we've got the swords here we've got the king of swords there and also in this card networking also um, this could be with the fish you could be networking as th that is also a business card and this is luck at work and business as well <coughs> There are things you don't know, so you are um, like the King of Pentacles because you've got the book here, and that means secrets and research, new study. You've got two cards for the new study, the book and the Eight of Pentacles. But you do do your research like the King of Pentacles, and you make it work for you because you will have a victory, and you've got your partner there as well. You could be partnering up, so you could be investing your emotions into a relationship that is durable and long term. And you will see the returns of this. So that is relationships and diplo this diplomacy. That is that could be the king of swords because he does work f usually for a judicial or an inst uh, system or a municipality uh, institution um, and that is that needs also diplomacy also as an advisor of the lily the lily being an advisor it's a bit like the hierophant and the priestess Yes, that is the opposite to the Hierophant or the Shaman or the uh, pr High Priest. She does give um, out information because she has the knowledge of both worlds. But she will not, she will observe rather than give advice. She only gives advice when she needs to. The appearance of the Emissary heralds the coming of an important message or messages whether from the outside world or from the source deep within you take the time to enter a quiet place and listen to the voice of your soul's wisdom do not ignore messages from the universe sometimes manifesting in patterns of symbols or coincidences which have a common theme it is important for you to force good relationships with the self at this time learning to trust those flashes of insight whilst working to build the discernment between you and your sovereignty so your sovereign needs and sh your shadows desire boom that's the high priestess all over so listen to those new ideas like I said your intuition your gut feelings and you shall be guided by the force or the divine when the body mind and spirit are in balance the door of understanding opens it's like the king of Pentacles and the queen of Pentacles that is the earthly sight remember that communication is a two-way street not only do you need to be clear in how to connect and express yourself with others you must always be receptive to what they have to say and to hear them with an open art heart that is what the king of swords does he has learned how to be charming he can sell eskimo ice cubes to eskimos he can be flattering and he can sweep you off your feet but he can also be a very good businessman 
Okay. Avoid reading intention into words or deeds of others. When in doubt, ask. Boom. Advice. Pay attention to what your self, higher self, is trying to tell you. Spend time to quiet, meditate or contemplate and ask for guidance. The answers will bubble up across the waters of the unconscious. Here you are, we've got the bubbles with the fish. Wow, this, and, uh, these are two completely different decks and break gently on the shores of your conscious mind. Take note of your dreams at this time and do not ignore synchronicities. Be sure that you always speak with integrity and truth and listen closely to what others are saying to you. Be certain that there is clarity and transparency in all of your dealings with others speak your truth and ask for what you need examine your relationship with the divine create a space where you are open to receive guidance from that deep place within you where you are whole and connected to source so that is so beautiful so you might even have the um, Gemini Libra or Aquarius in your moon sign or rising sign. Open up, use your charm and speak the truth and just be clear and transparent. And if you are scared or doubtful then ask Archangel Michael to help you as he's the Archangel that will ha of the throat chakra. So he's also the angel for air, the lungs, to speak. Um, if you have a sensitive conversation to handle, like a business uh, uh, conversation, to haggle or to debate about money, because you are going to win. If you keep it charming, cool, calm and collect, and with facts, and you, the truth will arise, then you will come across the other shore. Now we've got the card for the from the Oracle card from TLC, Tender Loving Care for the Soul, always accompanied. Yes, you are accompanied by the Force, by the Divine, by the Source, by God, by Angels, whatever you want to call it, by the Higher Self as well. Do you know that you are loved by a benevolent Source, one who knows you are knows you and cares for you without reservation. The Divine is showing up for you in various forms, no matter where you find yourself. It may occur in the form of, of sharing fondness with faithful friends, or in any of the various other diversified forms of all life, such as, you ask, ah, a king side dragonfly darting across you or sunshine lighting up in the crude pathway through a dense forest or an encouraging word from a stranger at the moment you need it the most remove the lenses of indifference and disbelief as you open yourself to see more than meets the eye, you will notice the amazing abundance of signs affirming your direction. Step into the wonderment and behold yourself embraced by the Divine. After all, you are part of Earth as well. 70% of us is water and the rest is dust. That is why I like the pagans way of thinking, getting close to nature, being one with nature, give thanks to nature and its animals. Big happy changes await you Leo. 
but you have to work on yourself you have to have faith in yourself because your hard work is going to hard work is going to pay off you're going to have victory whether in love or in business big time I hope you've enjoyed this reading take care and stay safe and if you're on holiday then please come back safely and I hope to see you in the life and have a wonderful week take care bye bye Thank you.